Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I've visualized this moment for a really long time, just, you know, thinking about how I was going to feel when I said first step on the foot on the field. And I think, you know, I just tried to keep it simple to me, you know, I've been training, uh, full for a while now. I went in with the national team, which was really great for me. Um, and I think coming into this moment, I was just like, Crystal, you are a soccer player, just play soccer, play simple. Um, you know, provide value in the way that you know you can obviously I'm not as fit as I could be but to me I was like if I'm gonna play the last 10 15 minutes of a game I'm gonna really provide all the energy and the effort that I possibly can to make sure that we close out the game the way we can all right we'll go to questions we'll start with Ryan hi Crystal congrats on the debut I just wanted to um, ask you how, how you feel about the contribution um, that you were able to make given um, given the time off and, and how you felt just running end to end for the first time in a, in a while in, in a game setting? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think throughout my pregnancy, uh, it was really important for me to stay close to the team and to train pretty much up until uh, my due date. Um, and I think that really helped me um, be exactly where I am today, which is, you know, on the field, three plus months, um, you know, back with the team. And I feel good. You know, I, I think everyone's pregnancy journey and, and everyone's, you know, journey into motherhood is so different. And I think for me, I had a very clear idea, idea of what I wanted to get out of, you know, my pregnancy and also what it was going to look like postpartum. Um, and I think for the most part, I'm exactly where I, I really thought I'd be. Um, obviously you never know, uh, <laughs> after delivery, but I think for me, I've been surrounded by a lot of supporting, uh, people, you know, my teammates, my, uh, coaching staff, um, and obviously my husband, my athletic trainer, who has really supported me along the way. And what was that like in these last few months with Pierre, just, just the whole dynamic of, of you being the competitor that you are and really wanting to get back out there, but balancing that with, uh, with the obvious stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, number one in our relationship is respect, you know, and I think obviously he is my husband, but you know, he's my athletic trainer. Um, he's really knowledgeable of the return to play process. And I think for me, I had to really respect that he knows his job well, you know, and there were times where he was, you know, telling me, Hey, you can't do this today. You got to take it slow. And I was like, mm. but ultimately I was like, okay, you're right. I, you know, I will basically just trust the process and um he's been great he's been awesome very knowledgeable of his job obviously and just really helped me every step of the way all right we'll go to annie peterson next hey crystal congratulations on making your return um when you have you noticed like any changes like a lot of people when they're pregnant and then they have their baby, they notice that their bodies aren't the same. Is there anything that like, isn't the same with you or that you're having to adjust to? Um, you know, honestly, I feel like returning to play after being out for a long time, whether, you know, you're out on maternity leave or you've been out with a long-term injury, I feel like people are expecting you to feel the same. And I'm like, you know what? I'm never going to be the same again. I went through childbirth. There's no going back to crystal before getting birth, you know? Um, and I feel like, but I do feel like throughout my pregnancy journey, I've spent a lot of time in the weight room, which those that know me know that I despise the weight room, but I think what it's done for me was actually allowed me to build back stronger in ways that I wasn't really able to do before. Um, obviously everyone knows when you play on the national team and you also play club, you rarely have a lot of time off. And I think taking a pause and, and really embracing pregnancy, I think I actually allowed me to build muscle back stronger than before. Um, and so when I stepped on the field today, I actually felt pretty strong and, and pretty confident and, and fit, obviously not as fit as 90 minutes fit at this moment, but I do think I was fit enough to be confident in, you know, providing value to my team today. All right. We'll take a couple more questions. We'll go to Steph next. Thanks, Katie. Hi, Crystal. Um, obviously, it was about 10 or 11 minutes on the pitch tonight, but, you know, we saw you there in that central position pushing higher. What was the discussion like between you and Rand Wilkinson about the goals that you wanted to set for tonight and, you know, what you wanted to see from yourself out there? You know, honestly, there really wasn't a lot of discussion. Um, you know, I, I'm really fortunate that, you know, Rand put me on the on the roster for this game. Um, obviously there wasn't even the talk of whether I was getting into tonight's game or not. Um, and I think she trusted that I was professional enough to, you know, not ask questions and not also expect to play, you know, at the end of the day, what's best for the team is what's best for the team. And I think 
um, being up to zero when I was about to sub in, um, you know, she said a few words of, of basically encouragement and, and saying she's happy that I'm back. But at the end of the day, I was given, you know, my task at hand and my job was to come onto the field and, and cl help close the game out. Um, and so that was just me, you know, providing Matt's effort in every single run and keeping possession. Um, and, you know, I was really happy and fortunate that I was able to do that. All right, we'll take one last question from Jason Anderson. Uh, hi, Crystal. Congrats on your return and, and a win uh, on top of that. Um, I wanted to ask, you know, this the league is maybe not a perfect place to be a mom, but it's becoming better, um, I think, through the, the PA and things like that. Um, there are seem it seems like there are more moms now around the league. Is there anyone that you've reached out to for whether it's training advice or um, being a mom within the league advice or anything like that? Um. Honestly, to be fair, like I really didn't reach out to a whole lot of moms just because everyone's journey is so different. And yes, there's a lot of wisdom that can be, you know, thrown in my direction. But I think ultimately when I do speak to moms in the league, like everyone's experience and story is so wildly different. And I think um, it was really important for me to find comfort in knowing what I expected out of motherhood and how I wanted to navigate getting back onto the field, into the pitch. I mean, we all make our return at so many different times of the year, you know, and I think I'm relatively on maybe the earlier end of returning back, but I think um, it's just important to really understand that everyone's journey is so different. And, um, you know, I didn't really want to ask a whole lot of questions of, of moms just so that I personally wasn't feeling like, oh, I have to compare and contrast like my journey to somebody else's. But obviously, you know, spending time on the national team, me and Alex uh, Morgan had a great conversation about just motherhood and what it was like for her when she was um, a new mom. And, um, and there's just a lot of similarities, but there's also a, a lot of uh, differences as well.